The state's top court has given notice it will issue a ruling in this highly anticipated case on Thursday. The impacts will be significant. I mean, tomorrow we're going to find out whether or not women still have uh, the right to determine their own destiny, to make their own health care choices. Abortion rights will be the subject of a significant Utah Supreme Court ruling coming down. The justices will decide if a lower court's injunction blocking Utah's near total abortion ban from being enforced will stay or go. Planned Parenthood sued after the legislature passed a law in 2020 banning abortions in Utah, except in the cases of rape, incest, or the health of the mother. It went into effect two years ago when the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. But a lower court judge granted Planned Parenthood's request for an injunction blocking the ban from going into effect. The state appealed it to the Utah Supreme Court. If the court upholds the injunction, abortion remains legal in Utah up to 18 weeks. If the court strikes down the injunction, the ban would go into effect either immediately or to date the court decides. Well, I don't think there should have been an injunction in the first place. The Utah Eagle Forum's Gail Rizika says she believes the state has a strong case for enacting the ban, but she wishes the justices were ruling on the legality of the law. We're not talking about, well, let's just bide our time and in time they'll rule on the law and, and we'll win and all will be well. We're talking about babies continuing to die. And so it has to stop. Rebecca Cummings is the Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor. She believes the court's decision will have impacts on Utah's economy, health care system, and even elections. We know from polling that the draconian bill that they passed is not in step with what Utahns want. Utahns understand the importance of personal liberties, of making these choices for ourselves. They don't like government overreach, and I think it could have a gal galvanizing effect on the election in November. Governor Spencer Cox's campaign declined to comment until the ruling is issued. Now, regardless of what the Utah Supreme Court decides on the injunction issue, the lawsuit over the legality of Utah's near total abortion ban will continue at the lower court level. At the Matheson Courthouse, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.